Until now, NASA's TESS Space Telescope has discovered more than 150 confirmed exoplanets, but there has been no such astounding discovery about the transiting circumbinary planet called TOI 2180b. This giant planet is as big as Jupiter and orbits two stars. When observed from Earth, the planet was found across the face of both stars. Another interesting fact is it makes a total of three eclipses while the planet traced its way across one star and then a few days later across the other. So, let's talk about it. Welcome to Space World. In today's video, we are going to talk about a gigantic planet discovered by NASA and the secrets it holds. So if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. Tom Jacobs of Bellevue, Washington loves treasure hunts. Since 2010, the former U.S. Naval officer has participated in online volunteer projects that allow anyone who is interested, citizen scientists, to look through NASA telescope data for signs of exoplanets, planets beyond our solar system. Now, Jacobs has helped discover a giant gaseous planet, about 379 light years from Earth, orbiting a star with the same mass as the Sun. The Jupiter-sized planet is special for astronomers because its 261-day year is long compared to many known gas giants outside our solar system. The result also suggests the planet is just a bit farther from its star than Venus is from the Sun. The finding was published in the Astronomical Journal and presented at an American Astronomical Society virtual press event on January 13. Uncovering this planet and pinning down its size and mass required a large collaboration between professional astronomers and citizen scientists like Jacobs. To track the planet, they engaged in a global uniting effort, because we all need to go after it together to keep eyes on this particular planet, said Paula Dalba, astronomer at the University of California, Riverside, and lead author of the study. Discovering and publishing TOI 2180b was a great group effort, demonstrating that professional astronomers and seasoned citizen scientists can successfully work together, Jacobs said. It is synergy at its best. But how the discovery happened? The signature for the newly discovered planet was hiding in data from NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS. Using test data, scientists look for changes in brightness of nearby stars, which could indicate the presence of orbiting planets. Jacobs is part of a group of citizen scientists who look at plots of test data, showing the change in the star's brightness over time, in search of new planets. While professional astronomers use algorithms to scan tens of thousands of data points from stars automatically, these citizen scientists use a program called LC Tools, created by Alan R. Schmidt to inspect telescope data by eye. That's why Jacobs Group, which includes several citizen scientists and two veteran astronomers, call themselves the Visual Survey Group. On February 1, 2020, Jacobs happened to notice a plot showing starlight from TOI 2180 dim by less than half a percent and then return to its previous brightness level over a 24-hour period, which may be explained by an orbiting planet that is said to transit as it passes in front of the star from our point of view. By measuring the amount of light that dims as the planet passes, scientists can estimate how big the planet is and, in combination with other measurements, its density. But a transit can only be seen if a star and its planet line up with telescopes looking for them. A graph showing starlight over time is called a light curve. The Visual Survey Group alerted two professional scientist collaborators, Paul Dalba at the University of California, Riverside, and Diana Dragomir, assistant professor at the University of New Mexico, that this light curve was potentially interesting. With this new discovery, we are also pushing the limits of the kinds of planets we can extract from TESS observations, Dragomir said. TESS was not specifically designed to find such long-orbit exoplanets, but our team, with the help of citizen scientists, are digging out these rare gems nonetheless. Computer algorithms used by professional astronomers are designed to search for planets by identifying multiple transit events from a single star. 
That's why citizen scientists' visual inspection is so useful when there is only one transit available. Since this is the only instance of the TOI 2180B star dimming in this data set, it is called a single transit event. The manual effort that they put in is really important and really impressive because it's actually hard to write code that can go through a million light curves and identify single transit events reliably, Dalba said. This is one area where humans are still beating code. But how could the team rule out other explanations for the brief dip in starlight? Could they be sure they had found a planet? They would need follow-up observations. Within 27 hours of observations spread over more than 500 days, Dalba and colleagues observed the planet's gravitational tug on the star, which allowed them to calculate the planet's mass and estimate a range of possibilities for its orbit. Still, they wanted to observe the planet's transit when it came back around to confirm the orbit. Unfortunately, finding a second transit event was going to be difficult because there was so much uncertainty about when the planet would cross the face of its star again. Dalba pressed on and organized an observing campaign, including both professional astronomers and citizen scientists, using telescopes at 14 sites across three continents in August 2020. To support the campaign, Dalba camped for five nights in California's Joshua Tree National Park and looked for the transit with two portable amateur telescopes. The collaborative effort yielded 55 datasets over 11 days. Ultimately, none of these telescopes detected the planet with confidence. Still, the lack of a clear direction in this time period put a boundary on how long the orbit could be, indicating a period of about 261 days. Using that estimate, they predicted that TESS will see the planet transit its star again in February 2022. TOI 2180b is almost three times more massive than Jupiter, but has the same diameter, meaning it is more dense than Jupiter. This made scientists wonder whether it formed in a different way than Jupiter. Another clue about the planet's formation could be what's inside it. Through computer models, they determined that the new planet may have as much as 105 Earth masses worth of elements heavier than hydrogen and helium. That's a lot, says Dalba. That's more than what we suspect is inside Jupiter. Astronomers still have much to learn about the range of planets that are out there. About 4,800 exoplanets have been confirmed, but there are still thought to be billions of planets in our galaxy. The new finding indicates among giant planets, some have many more heavy elements than others. In our solar system, gigantic Jupiter orbits the Sun every 12 years. For Saturn, a year is 29 years. We don't have giant planets like TOI 2180b between the Earth and the Sun, but outside the solar system, astronomers have found dozens of exoplanets that are even bigger than Jupiter and orbit much closer to their stars, even closer than the orbit of Mercury. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.